Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Culture. If you check out our last few video, you have probably realized that we are actually moving into our new shrimp farm, which is a 5,000 square feet facilities. And in the last video, I've actually shown everybody how do we actually move some of our old tanks from our old facilities and set them up in our new facility. So in this video, I'll be actually focus, focusing on some of the aeration systems, some of the ring blowers and the root blowers we'll be using, in particular in our nursery system, which we have already started culturing shrimps. So stay tuned. <laughs> So aeration is actually a big part of what we do in uh, bioflock culture because we need aeration for a couple of reasons, mainly to ensure that there's enough oxygen for not just the shrimp, but also for the bioflock itself, which uses a lot of aeration to maintain it. By the way, guys, if you like to see content relating to indoor shrimp farming or any technology relating to bioflock, we highly encourage you to subscribe to our channel so that you'll get a notification when we release our new videos. So for most of our nursery setup, we'll be actually using a diffuser grid in which we will use these rubber diffusers to enable air to go inside the bioflock system and allow it for mixing and aeration for the shrimps. So as you can see over here, we usually start our tank with the water being this clear and once we dose the bioflock for a few days, this is what we get. So the water will immediately turn brownish because of the presence of good uh, bacteria that will break down some of the waste and convert it to, to feed for the shrimp to be consumed. So that gives it that really brown color that you see over here. So for our nursery tanks, we are actually using a small ring blower system. This ring blower is only about 1.1 horsepower and it's actually capable to power up to four nursery units whereby each nursery unit will, will have about 10,000 pieces of shrimps. So as you can see, the ring blower is actually connected through PVC piping and the air is actually being distributed throughout this PVC piping into different parts of the nursery. Uh, some of our nursery are actually quite far from each other, so you need quite long length of PVC piping to distribute the aeration. And when we connect the individual nursery into this aeration uh, piping main line, main header, we actually use a flexible hose that looks like this before connecting into the individual aeration frame. So it's actually quite flexible and easy to construct. And most of the works that we actually done it on our own. So one of the harder parts for us, you know, because we want to maintain a good road access uh, coming into the farm. So some of the piping had to be run through the top part of the farm so that it does not obstruct any road access because this nursery is actually placed in the door and it might be useful for us to keep this option open. All right, so you can see that the aeration system is actually uh, connected to quite far even throughout the nursery at the far end of the farm. And some of the piping has to be suspended uh, with the support structure on top, uh, as you see over here. Although most of these farms is being sheltered, we do not expect any harsh weather to blow off any of the pipes. But it's still very important for us, for us to make sure that these pipes are properly mounted and properly secure. Because any lapse or issues with this piping, you will result in your nursery being uh, having a failure because you do not have adequate aeration into the system. So as you can see over here, for the nursery, using this ring blower is more than enough to supply most of the aeration to the nursery. And you know, for our grout tanks, we do not use actually ring blowers, but instead we use some of these root blowers that uh, I have shown in the previous videos. So this root blower is actually a 2 horsepower unit, and it's capable to powering out and providing aeration for my grow-out systems. And we actually use the motor from the previous air blower and just refitted over this new root blower. So root blower is really versatile because you can change the speed by changing the pulley and the motor to provide different flow rate as you scale up into a bigger farm. So this root blower is a bit special because it has also a pressure gauge and a relief valve to make sure that you don't over pressurize your system and result you know, in a burning of the motor. And as you can see, most root blower you are able to turn and you know, turn the pulley to make sure everything is okay. So this root blower will be mainly used in our grout system. We are just about to finish up the aeration distribution lines as you see over here. 
and probably I'll update more on the next video. So as you can see, aeration systems are actually very important and you want them to be designed in uh, efficient yet robust manner to ensure that you don't have any failure with regards to the aeration system because in the past, that's what we have been facing. And if you'd like to see more of this content, do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you again in Rascal Culture very shortly.